I'm here tonight as a determined American who loves our country. And my message to you is very clear. Wake up, America. There is no substitute for American leadership and exceptionalism. Trump, Trump, there you go, exactly. <clears throat> from this day forward, from this day forward, we must stand tougher and stronger together with an unrelenting goal to not draw red lines and then retreat and to never be satisfied with reckless rhetoric from an Obama clone like Hillary Clinton. <clears throat> with conviction, with conviction in our beliefs that pierces through the ideology of any people or any nation that attacks America, America's way of life, and our proud heritage of fearlessness and courage. <clears throat> tonight, tonight, America stands as one with strength and confidence to overcome the last eight years of the Obama-Clinton failures, <clears throat> such as bumbling indecisiveness, willful ignorance, and total incompetence that has challenged the very heart and soul of every American and single-handedly brought continued mayhem, murder, and destruction into our neighborhoods and onto the world's streets. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. USA, you you got it, you got it. USA, USA. That's exactly right. It's about this country. It's about this country. That's right. USA, USA. The time, the time is now. The time is now to recognize our obligation that we have to the world, an obligation to lead the world with unwavering integrity, renewed strength and unapologetic resolve. American, American exceptionalism was a core principle when the United States led and won our battles. Under this doctrine, we led the Allies to victory in World War II against Nazi Germany. USA. USA, 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 I mean, God help us. Get fired up. USA, USA. You are right. I love it, I love it. We, we are the first country to put a man on the moon. We ended, we ended the Cold War. We ended the Cold War and we stopped, we stopped communism. We stopped communism's quest for world domination. We must recognize, we must recognize that America has enemies in our homeland and abroad. And our military needs to be capable of protecting the nation by finding and capturing our enemies. The president must have the tools to deal with all threats to this country and must have the guts to put them into action whenever necessary. Our troops are instead by, are distracted by trivial matters, trivial matters about what words to use, what terminology is politically correct, and what bathroom door to open up. My God, my God, war, 
War is not about bathrooms. War is not about political correctness or words that are meaningless. War is about winning. War is about winning. America, America does not back down from anyone or anything. Get that's right. USA, USA, USA. You got it right, baby. That is exactly right. Get fired up. We are tired of Obama's empty speeches and his misguided rhetoric. <clears throat> this, this has caused the world to have no respect for America's word, nor does it fear our might. And releasing, and listen to what I'm about to say, and releasing under Barack Obama, we have no coherent strategy to protect our citizens. And under Hillary Clinton, it will be more of the same. You got it right. I, I am infuriated when our president bans criticism of our enemies. I am certain, I am deadly certain, that we cannot win this war unless we are free to call our enemies by name radical Islamists and failed tyrants. Because, because of Obama's ill-advised actions, the world has lost faith in American leadership and the threats are mounting. Radical Islam metastasizing throughout the world. Lack, a complete lack of American military readiness to face multiple fronts and loss of respect and confidence around the globe. We have become the best enemies and the worst friends. And I'm going to say that again. We have become the best enemies and the worst friends and that has to change. What keeps me up at night? What keeps me up at night is the sobering realization that evil exists. Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. That's right. Get yeah, that's right. Lock her up. I'm going to tell you what. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I use, I use hashtag never Hillary. That's what I use. <clears throat> lock her up, lock her up. You guys are good. <laughs> Damn right. You're exactly right. There's nothing wrong with that. And you know why? And you know why? You know why we're saying that? We're saying that because if I, a guy who knows this business, if I did a tenth, a tenth of what she did, I would be in jail today. I will repeat my belief that American exceptionalism is very real. Let, let us not fear what we know to be true. Let us not fear what we know to be true. We should always remember that our country, our country was built upon Judeo-Christian values and principles So once again, 
once again. Wake up, America. You cannot sit this one out. You cannot sit this election out. Get out of your houses and get out there and vote. And instead, elect Donald Trump as the next president of the United States of America. Thank you very much and God bless America.